and welcome to Spawn Point Scoop. Today on the show, trouble in Terraria Town, Minecraft gets a microtransaction marketplace, and some Easter eggs, just in time for Easter. Exceptional. I'm not joking. But first up, the news. The upcoming Terraria spin-off game, Terraria Otherworld, has had a change of developer. The new title was being worked on by Engine Software, but according to the main series developer ReLogic, the game was behind schedule and wasn't meeting their high standards. So ReLogic has handed the keys over to Pipeworks Studio to give the game a fresh start and take it in a new direction. Don't mess it up, Pipeworks. <gasps> Next, Mojang have revealed that Minecraft Pocket and Windows 10 editions will be getting a new marketplace. Launching later this year, players will be able to buy player-made texture packs, adventure maps, minigames and skins using Minecraft coins, which will cost real money. The upside is about half of the profits will go to the individual content creators. Mojang believes this will allow creators to make a living from the game and support them to create even greater projects. The downside? Microtransactions. Ugh. And finally, a Nintendo Entertainment System game about an egg named Dizzy has just been released after 24 years, and it's free. Mystery World Dizzy was an NES port of Dizzy 3, Fantasy World Dizzy, but due to money issues in development, it never saw the light of day. Now, to mark Dizzy's 30th birthday, creators Philip and Andrew Oliver have made the full game playable on their website in your browser. What a couple of good eggs. Oh, and speaking of good eggs, it's time to talk about some. Here's a good trick. Did you know that an Easter egg doesn't just refer to a delightfully shaped confection? It can also mean a super cool hidden secret in a game. Well, I'm gonna share just a wingful of my favorite ones with you. Of the game Easter eggs, not the chocolate ones. These are all mine. Number one. In the 1993 classic game Aladdin, released on Sega Mega Drive, there was a pair of Mickey Mouse ears hanging on a clothesline in the desert level. If you lined Aladdin up just right so he looked like he was wearing the ears, you'd get an extra life. Yeah! Wow, that's an Aladd win. Number two, a toodaloo-loo. For our next egg, you'll need to finish Ratchet and Clank on PS4 and restart in challenge mode. You can then teleport to the Insomniac Museum, a hangar made up of six locked vaults that have all sorts of cool game development ideas inside. What a cool place to hang out. Number three, cha cha cha! In The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask, you can meet the mysterious Happy Mask Salesman in Hyrule Castle Town. On this Happy Salesman's backpack are a number of masks, including one that looks an awful lot like a certain plumber. Well, I hope Mario can truly be himself now that the mask is off. Number four, ka ka! Classic Nintendo 64 game Banjo Kazooie had a hidden ice key tucked behind an ice wall that was part of an abandoned Easter egg between Banjo Kazooie and its sequel, Banjo Tooie. Eventually, the Xbox Live arcade versions of the game reinstated the Easter egg, allowing players to unlock a dragon transformation for Kazooie using the key. Fast forward a few years, and spiritual successor Ukulele now has two ice keys. <laughs> Double trouble! We don't know what they do yet, but maybe we'll unlock their mysteries ukulele. Number five. Uh, uh, uh. Tataka Kazumi is a Japanese composer slash voice actor that has worked on heaps of Nintendo games. And he's hidden a little tune he wrote in a whole bunch of them. From X in 1992, to Luigi's Mansion in 2001, To Mario Kart 8 in 2014, he's hidden to Taka's song almost everywhere. Whoa, that song's as old as I am. Well, it was great chicken in with these Easter eggs, but uh, I'm feeling pretty fried, so I'm gonna go shake off these tail feathers. Well, that is it for today's episode of Spawn Point Scoop. But before we go, a big thank you to Ben for sending in this great picture that he drew of Noodle from Snake Pass. Excellent work, Ben. If you've got something that you've created and you want to send it to us, then you can do so by email or snail mail right here, and you could end up on Scoop. Well, until next time, be nice, have fun, and keep gaming. Right out. Man, all this egg talk has made me really hungry. Enough puns, I could go for some buns. Some hot crust buns. <laughs>